Hi, I'm Jennifer Evans. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Hertfordshire and I teach early modern history and I am researching at the moment men's sexual health in the 17th century, predominantly how they dealt with issues to do with their reproductive organs and how that interacted with ideas and notions of masculinity. But I'm also really interested in reproductive histories more generally um, and in the past I've worked on men's and women's experiences of miscarriage in the 17th century and female infertility and how that was responded to and treated. So my current research is based on a project called Perceptions of Pregnancy and it's a researcher's network that was created by myself and Kira Meehan after we discovered that we had a real shared interest in women's experiences of pregnancy in the past. I've worked predominantly on infertility in the 17th century and Kira's been working on women's lives including abortion and pregnancy in 1960s Ireland. And we found um, through lots of discussions in our office that despite some differences there were lots of similarities in the way that women in both of these eras and both of these countries experienced difficult situations in pregnancy. And in particular lots of women wrote to magazines to get advice and solace about tricky situations, particularly unmarried motherhood. And so we planned a conference which ran at UH in 2014, which brought together scholars from a range of disciplines, including political geographers, English literature scholars, art historians and historians, to talk about all aspects of reproduction, um, from conception, contraception, infertility, miscarriage, pregnancy, childbirth and parenthood, um, for a range of different eras um, and different geographical locations. So we didn't want the conference to be the end point of the conversation, we really wanted it to be the beginning. And so we created an online platform, the Perceptions of Pregnancy Research Network Online, and it has a blog which runs every two weeks, created by one of our 150 network members, and it's covered a whole range of really interesting topics so far, including drunken midwives in the 19th century, political posters um, and how they relate to women's lives in the modern era, and 17th century male midwives encroaching on the birthing room. And it's really an ongoing um, site, an ongoing platform for which people can share information about publications, calls for papers, uh, interesting things that they're being involved with. And it covers and reaches a wide range of people in lots of different countries. We have members in the US um, and in Europe and in Australia. So it's a really lively and active um, forum for people discuss, to discuss anything to do with reproductive lives of women and men in the past. So we're really excited about the book for the conference, Perceptions of Pregnancy from the 17th to the 20th century. It contains a range of chapters by English literature scholars and historians dealing with lots of different kinds of issues, including contraception and the creation of contraceptive consumerism in the 1960s and 1970s, um, the plays from the 17th century and how playwrights dealt with female reproductive issues and uh, patriarchal control of those issues and how there's a change in language over the 18th and 19th century for talking about pregnancy and um, birth.